when Wrecking Ball came along, it came through a time when there were a lot of ballads and, you know, the labels were saying there's just no room for ballads at radio. And then Wrecking Ball broke the mold and then everybody wanted to write the next Wrecking Ball. It's just an interesting thing. Hello, I am Stefan Macchio, Canadian record producer, composer, and these are the songs that changed my life. A New Day Has Come by Celine Dion. This one was my first breakout international hit, like mega, mega hit. And everybody knows Celine Dion. And getting in the room with some of the greatest lyricists and songwriters and top liners in the world. And from then on, it just took off. So another song that was really a proud moment for me as a Canadian was having co-written the Olympic theme and song. Love or, or Loathe It, like that song really became part of uh, our history and Canadian culture. And, and you know, every time I'm, I'm in Canada, every time I'm at a concert, I play that proudly. It, it moves me to this day. I've probably listened to the song over 25,000 times. It's not often that one has the opportunity to be part of a, such a historic event for their country, Wrecking Ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. That was the new modern pop ballad. And, you know, we had Miley, you know, swinging, you know, basically naked on the, on the wrecking ball. Uh, and a great song, really. Uh, and I say that proudly and not arrogantly, just because it was, you know, it was a classical piece of music in a lot of ways. I mean. You know, for a handful of, of weeks, number one on the Hot 100 at Billboard, you know, it was instant, it was fire. And all of a sudden I could get in the room with basically whoever I wanted. You know, I came in like a wrecking ball. That line combined with the video, the memes, the jokes, that's, that's when you know you've made it. It wasn't my first one. And I said, okay, then it's not a mistake anymore. Earned it. that changed my life is, is because we were nominated for an Oscar. And I produced that song, which was really amazing. I hadn't just co-written it, I was playing piano on it. It was a waltz and it was interesting for R&B kind of hip hop artists to come out with a song in three, four, six, eight at the time. So it was really special. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We were given some direction on how to produce it by Sam Taylor Johnson, the director of Fifty Shades. She wanted a sort of like Al Green, a James Brown type of song. It was in December. And I was listening to a lot of Christmas music in the car as I was driving to the studio. And because I was listening to a lot of Nat King Cole with these long reverbs, that kind of sound, I was seeking those long reverbs in Abel's voice as well. Fracture. I was listening to Rayvon Williams on the radio and it hit me hard and I said, I've got to return back to doing piano music. It was a decision that I made like, boom. I was just feeling the need to kind of come back to something real. There's something very cathartic and very healing that happened to me when I'm just expressing myself by myself on this instrument. I gotta be honest, it, it's, I've never felt better artistically. It's the most truthful thing I've done and I plan to stay in this lane for a long time because it, um, it just feels right.